Today is the 24th of April 2020. Welcome to Walking the Way. My name is Ray. I really want to say thank you to everyone for listening in as we continue to explore what it means to have a regular rhythm of worship together. If you are joining us for the first time, let me explain that each episode follows a really simple pattern. It's a mixture of prayer, scripture, music, and some of my own thoughts and ramblings. It's easy to pick up as we go along. Don't forget, if you want to download the script, there is a download button in the show notes. Click that button. You'll get a PDF of today's episode. If you'd like to support Walking the Way, and we would really would appreciate everybody supporting us, please. Shameless plug there. Um, again, the donation button is in the show notes. I think it says partnering with Walking the Way. And if you'd like more information about myself or the podcast, head to rayborrett.co.uk. We always start each leg of Walking the Way with an opening prayer. So let's pray, shall we? Lord, your mercies are new every day. When I could hardly catch my breath, fear clenching my stomach and every horizon dark, you were there for me. You were there with me. Whether I stood on the precipice of grief or pain or loneliness or despair, you heard me calling, my prayers not echoing in empty chambers, not ricocheting into nothingness. You listened to every word. You come not always with quick fixes, not always with the solutions I've planned. You teach me that every road is walkable with you beside me. Your steadying voice gentles me. You are the faithful one from generation to generation, seeking out our sad souls, picking up the lost and left behind, taking care of the woeful. God of great grace, hear this prayer of thanks, even from the land of broken dreams. Amen. Mark four twenty four. Listen carefully to what you hear. The way you treat others will be the way you will be treated, and even worse. Right, listen up, folks. I'm going to keep this short, really short today. What you give is what you get multiplied. That's the way I read Jesus' words here. And unfortunately, it's a message I think we need to repeat again and again and again and repeat and again and repeat and again ad nauseum because I don't think it's something we hear and take in. Ask yourself today, have I made someone's life better or harder? Because it will come back to you in ways that you will never expect. We're going to have our first piece of music just to give us some time to center our thoughts on God. And then we're going to get into our Bible readings for today. And in today's readings, Jesus tells us to love one another. We'll see you on the other side.
Let's ask God to speak to us through the scriptures this morning, shall we? Loving God, open our hearts and our minds to the words that you would have us hear today. Speak to us today through the words of your Son, Jesus. We ask this in his name. Amen. Our Bible readings this week are taken from the contemporary English version, and today we're reading John 15. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts away every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, but he trims clean every branch that does produce fruit, so that it will produce even more fruit. You are already clean because of what I have said to you. Stay joined to me, and I will stay joined to you, just as a branch cannot produce fruit unless it stays joined to the vine. You cannot produce fruit unless you stay joined to me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. If you stay joined to me, and I stay joined to you, then you will produce lots of fruit. But you cannot do anything without me. If you don't stay joined with me, you will be thrown away. You will be like dry branches that are gathered up and burned in a fire. Stay joined to me, and let my teachings become part of you. Then you can pray for whatever you want, and your prayer will be answered. When you become fruitful disciples of mine, my Father will be honored. I have loved you just as my Father has loved me. So remain faithful to my love for you. If you obey me, I will keep loving you, just as my Father keeps loving me, because I have obeyed him. I have told you this, to make you as completely happy as I am. Now I tell you to love each other as I have loved you. The greatest way to show love for friends is to die for them. And you are my friends if you will obey me. Servants don't know what their master is doing, so I don't speak to you as my servants. I speak to you as my friends, and I have told you everything that my Father has told me. You did not choose me. I chose you and sent you out to produce fruit, the kind of fruit that will last. Then my Father will give you whatever you ask in my name, so I command you to love each other. If the people of this world hate you, just remember that they hated me first. If you belong to the world, its people will love you. But you don't belong to the world. I have chosen you to leave the world behind, and that is why its people hate you. Remember how I told you that servants are not greater than their master? So if people mistreat me, they will mistreat you. If they do what I say, they will do what you say. People will do to you exactly what they did to me. They will do it because you belong to me, and they don't know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not be guilty of sin, but now they have no excuse for their sin. Everyone who hates me also hates my father. I have done things that no one else has ever done. If they had not seen me do these things, they would not be guilty. But they did see me do these things, and they still hate me and my father too. That is why the scriptures are true when they say, People hated me for no reason. I will send you the Spirit who comes from the Father and shows what is true. The Spirit will help you and will tell you about me. Then you will also tell others about me because you have been with me from the beginning. We're going to have our second piece of music just to give us some time to think about those bits of scriptures that have caught our attention. And after music, we're going to say our prayers for today.
before we pray. Just a reminder that if you would like us to pray for you, then drop us a line through the usual channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, email, our voicemail service. Check the show notes for all the contact details. There are links to everything there. If you need prayer, we would love to pray for you. And we have some more prayers today. We're going to pray again for Arthur and Nolene and Ben and Rebecca. And then also we've been asked to pray for Hazel, who's had a fall and broken her arm. Let's pray, shall we? Father, we bring Arthur and Nolene to you again, knowing that you are there in that situation with them. You are alongside them and that, to quote the prayer we said earlier, our prayers don't ricochet into nothingness, but that you hear every one. Father, hear Arthur and Nolene's prayer. Bring Arthur home. We pray the same for Ben and Rebecca, Lord. And Ben being locked up in prison in the Czech Republic for something he didn't do. We ask, Lord, that you would bring him home to be home with Rebecca, his wife. Father, we also pray for Hazel, who's fallen and broken her arm. We ask that you would make her comfortable, that you would heal her, and that she would recover from this as quickly as possible. We ask us all in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Our prayer for today. You speak to us in many ways, Lord, in the spectacular and through the quiet whisper, in the bustle of city streets and the solitude of a desert place, in the ebb and flow of daily life, you speak to us in many ways. Yet our ears are often tuned to different voices, louder, more insistent voices, more attractive voices. Forgive us, Father, when we fail to hear your word. Forgive us when we disappoint you. Open our ears to hear and our hearts to serve us. Through Jesus Christ we pray. And in his name we ask this. Amen. We say together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory is yours, now and forever. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us now and forevermore. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. You've been listening to Walking the Way. All the details for today's episode can be found in the show notes, including the scripture passages and credits for the press. If you want to partner with Walking the Way, if you'd like to donate towards the project, that would be amazing. We are looking at upgrading all our equipment, so any donations would be fantastic. Please head to www.givesendgo.com forward slash walking the way. And for more information, head to rayborrett.co.uk. You can find me on Twitter facebook or instagram don't forget you can also listen to us on TuneIn and youtube my name is ray and so until next time i'll be here waiting as we continue walking the way Mm -hmm.